In this video, we want to solve 1 plus i raised to the hundredth power and e to the i2t plus e to the negative i2t all over 2. So let's first start off with 1 plus i to the hundredth power. I can rewrite this as 2 raised to the 50th power because when you have an exponent to an exponent, you multiply. Now I have to expand 1 plus i squared, which is 1 plus 2i plus i squared i squared is negative 1, so when I add that with 1, it cancels, and so I'm left with 2i raised to the 50th power. Now the 50 is going to distribute as the exponent for both 2 and i, so we'll have 2 to the 50th times i to the 50th. i to the 50th can be rewritten as i to the 48th times i squared, and i to the 48th is just i to the 4th raised to the 12th power, and i to the 4th is just 1, so 1 raised to the 12th power is 1. i squared is negative 1, so 1 times negative 1 is going to give me negative 1. And then we multiply that by 2 to the 50th power to get negative 2 raised to the 50th power. And that is our answer. Moving on, let's solve this uh, fraction. So first, recall that e to the i t is cosine of t plus i times sine of t. Now when I replace t, uh, 2t with t, I get cosine of 2t plus i sine 2t. And then e to the negative i 2t will put a negative inside the parentheses. Now let's plug it in. So we have e to i 2t is the first bracket, and then e to the negative i 2t is a second bracket. Notice that the negative out here inside the sine goes outside because sine is an odd function, meaning if I put a negative inside, it's going to come outside. Cosine is an even function, so the negative just disappears. And so we're just left with cosine of 2t. Now we're going to subtract, or I guess rather add, cosine 2t plus cosine 2t is 2 cosine 2t i sine of 2t plus negative i sine of 2t is 0. That's going to be all over 2. The 2's are going to cancel, and I'm left with cosine 2t as my final answer.